Hello, choir. Welcome back after a two-week break. I know our congregation is looking forward to hearing your music, and we have something lovely to share with them. I sing Alleluia, a simple and delicately beautiful anthem about Jesus' lordship in our lives, something we all need to be reminded of in these contentious times. And let me welcome Terrytown United Methodist Church Choir. It's been great to connect with many of you over the past couple of months on Zoom. Terrytown UMC and the choir was my home away from home when I was a graduate student at UT in the late 90s and early 2000s. So it's a great pleasure to include all of you in our musical solution to the isolation caused by the pandemic, virtual choir. I hope you enjoy this experience as much as your brothers and sisters here at St. Luke's have enjoyed it. So, before we talk about musical notes, I want to let you know that I have attached to this email a new copy of the sheet music with my notes written on them. So, you may want to print out a new copy, it's only four pages, or you could write notes in your current copy as I talk. It's your choice. <clears throat> Breathing. Breathing is easy on this piece. Just breathe at the rests. Pretty simple. But, measures 14 and 34. Um, I want you to add a breath mark. Look right here. Those phrases uh, are identical, uh, 14 and 34. Uh, it's just a little bit long. Jesus, you are everything to me. Breathe. I'm sorry. Jesus, you are everything. Breathe to me. I just want to make sure you can sing that whole note over the word me with a nice tone. So I don't want you all to uh, run out of breath. So the phrase is just a little too long and I want to make sure you have that breath. So make sure you breathe there. And again, the identical, fr identical phrase is right here um, at uh, measure what? Uh, measure 35 or measure yeah, 35. Okay. Cutoffs. Cutoffs are straightforward in this piece. Most of the time you cut off near the end of a measure with a quarter rest or after an entire measure. So it's pretty easy. Just remember to be precise. There's only two tricky spots. and They're not really tricky, but I just want to draw your attention. Um, it's measures 22 on page 2 and 43 at page 4. They're identical, okay? I call them the parenthetical alleluias. The sopranos are sustaining ya from alleluia, you can see right here. And then the, the altos and the men sing alleluia in parentheses. And then there are these quarter, I mean, I mean these eighth rests afterwards. Just make sure you time those right. Sopranos, you have to sustain beyond the fourth beat and then breathe um, just before that, that uh, eighth rest or just on the eighth rest, okay? So just be mindful of that. And make sure um, it's an elegant breath, not an abrupt clip-off, like Alleluia, but Alleluia, ah. Okay, so make sure it's not a, not a clip-off, but a good cut-off. And quick re review about running out of breath. If you run out of breath in the middle of a word, don't finish the word early. Breathe in the middle of the word and come in later. Let other people finish the word with the consonant in the correct place. It's, it's counterintuitive to breathe in the middle of a word, but we don't want S's and T's and other consonants in the wrong places. Okay, so just, just be mindful of that. Dynamics. No big dynamic contrasts in this piece. It starts out at mezzo piano and then moves to mezzo forte at a certain time. So the general mood is maintained throughout the piece. Remember to keep your tone full when singing at different dynamic levels. Once in a while, I've heard some people singing a little too breathy when singing quietly. We still want to have a good tone at every dynamic level. Just be mindful of this. Note, there is a dynamic contrast at the very end, on the last page, and you'll hear it in the accompaniment. Top of page four, we repeat the whole section, and uh, the first time is mezzo piano, and the second time is mezzo forte. That's pretty easy. And you will hear a surge, a little surge in the piano accompaniment, and that should cue you just to sing a little louder the second time through. Okay? 
and that's on the last page. The form. Form of the piece is easy. Just sing straight through with an easy repeat on the last page. However, at the end of the piece, we changed the first ending. <clears throat> Let me show you. You'll see that I have crossed out the first ending at measure 44, and I've written it in at right here at measure 45. Okay? Now, it, it doesn't affect how you sing the first time through. It's the second time through that matters. You see, the first time through, you sing Alleluia, and you tie this note over to here, then you breathe, and then you sing, So I Sing, and you go back to the top of the page, right, for the repeat. But the second time you sing through, I want you to add, here, I want you to add, oh, this is really hard to position, I'm seeing it the opposite way. I want you to, oh, I want you to add um, these rests right here. So you'll sing, Alleluia, breathe, and then you go down to the bottom, to, to the second ending. Okay, you see that? So you can see in the notes right here, the second time you add these, these uh, quarter rests right there. <clears throat> All right, that's it. Um, remember to print out a new copy of the sheet music with my notes if you want. It's attached to this email. I hope you all have a great time video recording yourself singing this piece. And once again, welcome Terrytown United Methodist Church. It is a real delight to have you participate. I, I look forward to seeing your faces and, and working you into the ensemble and positioning you on the screen. I, I think you'll you'll really enjoy this whole process and I think you'll you'll enjoy the final product. So contact me if you have any questions and again enjoy. Thank you.